Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Good morning from my messy, messy desk. Um, it is about, what time is it? It's around 9 a.m. I've been up oh, for a couple hours at least, which is weird because I'm not a morning person. But anyway, <laughs> so today's video, I am um, finally going to be like moving into my my journal that I made with you guys. It should be the last video um, that was just posted. And I kind of wanted to do something different, but I thought, no, like, let's, you know, let's move into my, my new junk journal together, you guys. And um, so, um, so that means I'm going to be really random today, which is really up my alley. <laughs> but um, as you can see so far, I took all of the scraps and, um, kind of, you know, they look like washi tape, all the, the scraps that were left over from all the, tr you know, everything I trimmed off. I worked on this little page, which is cute, right? So it's like, um, <laughs> just kind of trying to make fun of our situation or kind of stay upbeat in our situation to, you know, like laugh at it and say cuss words. <laughs> and I wrote, um, you know, all of the things that I'm doing, which is, you know, essential errands only, wear your effing mask, wash your effing hands, <laughs> be positive and support your effing loved ones. <laughs> so those are just, you know, some, I'm still making that list. <laughs> of course, Sunday was Palm Sunday, which I know doesn't fit in with all the cuss words, but you know, you can be spiritual and still have a sense of humor. <laughs> so, um, I think what I'll do is kind of start some backgrounds and like, you know, kind of, um, you know, just glue some things in, get, you know, just get it started, add color where I want color. So, um, since I did say I wanted to use my, my color sticks more, I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to kind of glue this, you know, this here. I really like this. I probably should cut it in pieces and use it in different areas, but I think ooh, probably what I'll do is since these are flowers, it's like a list of flowers from um, a little golden book encyclopedia. You guys, those, if you ever can get your hands on little golden book encyclopedias from, oh, am I, have I been out of frame? I am, I'm sorry you guys, but um, yeah, if you can get your hands on those, like I bought so many of those and I wish I had bought more, but my goodness, I mean, I, I still have a couple, I, I may have a couple left that, um, that have, you know, that I have some ephemera in, but okay, so probably should have colored, you know, made a color, you know, background first, but you know, do we really need to do everything in perfect order? So, oh yeah, I'm still off frame. And then I think probably what I could do for this page and I'll write it down is um, maybe make some little mini drawings of the flowers listed and, um, you know, gluing them here. So I'm just kind of, you know, basically coloring. <laughs> Well, let's add some more here. Let's just add everywhere and then we'll spray it since this is all water soluble and there's a poppy there. So let's, um, so I like to repeat colors. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I love to repeat colors, um, in everything I do for some reason. Um, I just find, you know, when I find a piece of ephemera, if I can repeat the color, it makes me happy, even if it doesn't look good. Like, you know, aesthetically look, you know, like something that we would put in the Louvre, you know? So this kind of color is, 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 well, this is a lot darker than these really pretty subdued sort of, you know, 60s vintage book color. <laughs> I think it's from the 60s. Um, I know it's from, it may even be from the 50s. I'm not sure, but those colors are like so, look at those colors and I get so much comfort from them because it's like I think about my, 
<gasps> my grandma. <laughs> like my grandma's house. Anyway, oh, speaking of grandma, did you guys, what did you guys think? Well, did you see um, the Queen of England's, um, you know, what do they call that? Her address to her, you know, her subjects. <laughs> um, it was, um, it was really nice. It reminded me of my grandma. It was, it came off very warm, right? But I, you know, I don't know, because I don't follow the royal family, really. I mean, my mom growing up was so in love with, um, Princess Diana, so I'm just gonna, I guess, move on from this since it's wet. And, um, maybe glue, since this kind of looks exciting and these girls look like they're dancing. I'm gonna put that there. I was telling my sister, I wish this was, um, they both had brown hair. I should color it. Because if it's brown hair, then it's me, you know, this is me and Denise, my sister. We're like, we're only two years apart, so, um... My mom used to dress us alike and stuff, and people used to think we were twins, but we're not. <laughs> and yeah, if you have a sister, tell me about your sister, you guys. <laughs> we should talk about our, our families, even if we can't be with them right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, yeah. And how are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing good. I don't even mind that it's white around. I don't feel like I need to do any distressing or anything like that. I'm kind of, um, let's use this. I'm kind of over distressing. Like, I like things to, to kind of look old, but I don't really need it to look, I don't know, it's hard to explain. In my mind, I feel like if it's aesthetically pleasing, then, um, who cares? But, so I just, I know it's really subtle, but, oop, oop. I just want, like, I don't have to have a perfect border around these cute little girls, but, oh, and I'm struggling, right? I'm... Or go in the bed with these a kiss. Or go in the little foxhole. Hmm? Oh, hi, cutie. That's Mr. Mouser, you guys. <laughs> okay, guys. So, of course, I got interrupted. Um, I had to um, take my dogs for a walk. So, um, I'm not sure why I don't like this glue. Um, it may be too watery for me, or it takes... Um, too much time to dry, but I feel like I should use it, right? Well, I still have the good stuff. This should be like as a last resort, but I feel like, you know, when I don't like something, I should try to make it work and try to find, um, try to find the, here, I'll use this. No, that's for tough jobs. I'll use this. So, um, I should try to find, you know, a way to make it work because... You know, it's spent money on it, you know? So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, had to I had to take my dogs for a walk just now, and it was so weird, you guys, because it was the first time I went outside, you know, just for a walk and wore a mask. You know, because now it's like... I mean, it's not like anybody's going to stop you and arrest you for not wearing a mask. But I, I mean, I see everyone wearing a mask and I feel like, okay, they're being, everyone's being responsible and everyone's doing it. So I should do it too. Everyone's doing it, y'all. <laughs> do I want to kind of cut that sort of, make that kind of part of the little scenario? Maybe, right? Maybe. It must, yeah, it's okay. 
because I do like the, the way this dye here, or the, the tea, kind of got pushed up by some, I guess it, it must have used some water. So past perfect, it says past perfect. Do I want that to show? Yes, kind of. No, or do I want it to be like that? Yeah, kind of do. Kind of like that. I also have some stamps too, guys. I'm gonna really bust out some, you know, some random things. Random, random like things. That. I feel like I want to put that down. I think I had a, before that, though, I do want to make this black and then, um, or darker at least. Maybe I will find a good, like, warm-ish gray, right? Mm. I only have, like, I have only one warm-ish gray. So, I'm just gonna, I don't know. Just make random, random, random marks. And, um, See how it goes. Yeah, I like that. So I do like that. Then this, this somewhere. That's pretty. And then um, I'll just glue that and then move on because I'm not really trying to do a whole page. I'm just trying to get a few things down to get myself started. And, you know, there's glue there, but that's okay. I know this is going to go kind of there, tucked in, you know, kind of behind her. Or, I don't know, I don't want to hide this little, I know, I'll cut it out, y'all. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so, anyway, yeah, you guys, I, um, it felt really weird because I went, I took my dogs for a walk and like now, you know, of course, I mean, I don't know how it is for everybody else. I just know, you know, how you know, we're doing it here, which is everyone is wearing, everyone is kind of required to wear a mask. It's not like it's like enforced or like you're going to get arrested or anything, but, um, people are, you know, wearing masks now, even just to walk outside and go jogging. Of course, some people aren't, but it's, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's no big deal. Nobody's looking at them like, you're not wearing a mask, you know, but at the same time, what it's just weird because I'm used to people seeing my face. Like, I'm used to smiling at people. And I'm like one of those, I'm like one of those kind of girls that, well, girls, women now. I'm, I'm like one of those women who's um, been, you know, told all their life that they should smile. And it used to irritate me. Um, but I do, and it, I think it's because I do smile a lot. And so it's like, if I, you know, I smile all the time. This is my damn face. And if I don't feel like smiling at somebody that's my friggin you know choice like I just I don't know why I get so annoyed when people because it, it feels creepy to have somebody come up to you and say your facial expression is not good enough for me so you need to smile <laughs> like, you know what I mean but anyway you you guys you guys get it um but you know what I feel like I, I keep going with this just because it keeps getting cuter and cuter right um but anyway, my point is, in that entire friggin' rant I just did, um, is I, I don't realize how much I smile at people until I can't smile at them anymore. Like, I'm smiling underneath my little mask, <laughs> and, um, you know, it feels weird. So, so I just wave, you know, even at, normally I wouldn't wave at people, but I am. So I'm going to let that kind of dry, and then I've got these stamps, stampy stamps, and I think I want to use, um, I'm going to use my distress inks just because, I don't know, I mean, they're getting old and I barely ever use them, or like I stopped using them, so this is just a whale stamp, so I just picked random 
stamps that I knew, you know, I don't know, that I knew were cute and I don't really use them. Like, look, this is brand new. I don't even think I've ever used it. And, um, you know, it's time to, like, do that kind of stuff. You know, it's time to, like, use and enjoy. Well, yeah, so I, I thought I could get a double, but I didn't. Um, and, um, you know, just get to, um, like, enjoying my, my things. But also changing this room around has um, really helped a lot with that. Oh, and I set up my sewing machine. Are you guys sewing masks? Let me know. Speaking of masks, like, how are you, you know, do you have masks? Did you, you know, get some? Did you make some? Are you making some, you know, for your friends and your family? Like, um, you know, what are you using? Did you buy fabric? I bought fabric. I, I tried to get elastic and inter, I think interface. I guess you can be using it as a sort of a filter or something or to stabilize the the uh the material right i don't know i'm you know i don't know about that kind of stuff i wish i did but guess what i'm gonna learn now is as good a time as any to learn you know to really learn how to sew i keep telling myself like you know oh i want to learn how to sew i really want to you know be good at sewing and but then i don't do it and now it's like you know what i'm gonna do it <laughs> you know, because, um, no one I know had any, you know, like even my own family, like we're, you know, my sister had heart surgery last year and she didn't have like, you know, a stockpile of masks, you know, at home. I, we, my husband and I have a few that came in, um, a first aid kit, a first aid kit that, you know, that we ordered before. So we have, you know, we have some, but I'm going to want to make more, you know, because I don't think, I don't know, it's just good to have. And then if I get really good at it, I can give them to people, right? I, you know, share, contribute. That's what I feel like I want to be doing right now. I want to be, um, I told you in my last video that I was kind of feel, felt like I needed to be aimless, you know, and kind of try to make myself feel safe again and not have a purpose and see that kind of just doing that, like made me feel like, okay, I can, I can do something now. Like I can get, you know, do something purposeful now, something, you know, to help someone or myself or my family or what, you know, whoever needs one. Um, my girlfriend here, she doesn't have one, her, you know, so I'm, I want to make some for them. Oh, that's pretty. Can't really see it right, but it's okay. Still looks good. Um, let's do the, some more cactus, cacti. Um, I want, um, I want something darker. Maybe going with my distress inks were um, not a good idea. Because I want, but it may be because I'm not doing it right. So, okay. Let's see what that looks like. Well, plus my paper, I'm, I've got like multi layers of paper. Well, I can't really see that, but that's good. It's still there. I know it's there. And, um,. It'll make me happy to see that later on. Okay, so, ooh, let's do something here on this one. Um, I already did the owl stamp, right? I didn't do an anchor one, but let me do this cross. I feel like these, ki I like these kind of, you know, Celtic-looking crosses. Um... I think they just look really pretty. Well, Celtic sort of, you know, that woven kind of design look, medieval-y looking, you know, traditional kind of, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, that came out good. That's nice and, and light and subtle. So, let's see if I have any left. Um, kind of. 
Um, okay. And then I can also, oh, since I got my, my Distress inks out, I can um, add some color to, like, see this. This is all white. And honestly, really, that's what I like my Distress inks for the most because it's, you know, just a subtle background. I don't like, I like my backgrounds to, you know, recede, so... I try to stay away from too much color anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's that. I like, I like that green. Um, maybe I should add some more green with my, um, with my color stick. So, yeah, so this, normally I would think like these, this kind of green, it's like, it's too much, it's too much it's too bright, it's too industrial looking, but because I already have that nice dull green, and then I repeated this color, ooh, that makes me so happy. Okay. Um, maybe I need another green. Mm, of course, I gotta pause again, you guys. Mm -hmm. So this is just my uh, makeup wipe, which I find they're very, actually, they're a little bit more, um, blendable-y than a baby wipe. I know baby wipes are a bit more, like, you know, they're cheaper, but I'm trying not to buy baby wipes right now because a lot of people here, at least, have ran out of baby wipes, and so I feel like, you know, I'll use my makeup wipes. I mean, I have a ton anyway, just because, you know hard enough as it is like people went crazy with the <laughs> with the hoarding of the toilet paper and the you know the whole toilet paper apocalypse that went on I mean I get it I really do I understand why people went nuts but I was just you know we were all judging you know the hoarding <laughs> but I get it I totally get it we we went nuts because we were like oh gotta I make sure we have everything we need, you know? But, yeah. Okay, so, um... Ooh, these are nice, soothing, kind of calm, cool colors. But it still feels springy. Because I feel like there's a lot of yellows and, you know, like floral colors in here. And, of course, I always have to have ocean colors. What is that? What is that? My husband's banging on the wall, you guys. He's watching TV and it's like, he's trying to um, distract me. Yeah. He played a joke on me this, well, yesterday with a pretend snake. Like he tried to scare me with like a pretend snake. We went hiking. Oh, I was so mad. I was so upset. It was like a rope and he, he like, made the rope like i don't know with his foot because i was far away and i and he was like snake snake i'm getting attacked and i screamed you know that's that's mean it's mean <laughs> some of my little fruits fruit fruit stamps i got in the um you know at michael's at i love their their cheap stamps but um I take them home and I don't even use them. So I gotta use them. Okay, so I don't even care that they're not all like even. I think they're just cute just being there. Right? So, um, what else can we do? I kind of like that, like that, cherries. Um, do I want owls? No, I feel like that's too much. Like, then it'll look kind of weird, I guess. I don't know. I just don't Good. want it. Oh, well. Actually, it looks okay. I thought, um, you know, there was still stick glue here, so I used this um, to protect this, um, you know, that part, that paper. Um, so it kind of lifted all the color, but that's okay, actually. Um, I should... 
I should tape over that though. So that's kind of something, you know. Um, what did I want to do? So I wanted to do something here. Um, I think I want to um, just put some color, some acrylic color, and then let it dry and um, kind of, um, you know, I need to do lunch and break for the day, I guess. I don't know if I'll all the way finish moving in, but I, I feel like I'm, I've am i moved in some, right? So maybe I'll just, um, here's my little credit card. So I'll just do this, and then do a couple more stamps, because I really did want to stamp. But, um, oh, that looks cool, looks pretty, pretty color. Um, I think I want, like, a vibrant yellow with that. Um, maybe this. Ooh, I want a vibrant yellow. So I'm going to use the color dandelion. What color was that? That was, um light turquoise in um, like an Anita's paint and then this one's a craft smart paint called dandelion so okay um, I'm gonna use one of my little mm, that's pretty um, this is just like a dollar store um, makeup applicator. I guess it's for eyeshadow, but I, I can't imagine myself putting eyeshadow with this. You know, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm sure I could if I had to, but I like to use brushes. I like a lighter, a lighter kind of application on my eyes, right? Okay. This, and then here. And then... And I like that it's kind of transparent because you see the bright yellow, but um, when it passes over the this you know pretty turquoise color, it's it's you know it's green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like that. And then um, I guess um, since I have to go make lunch now. I think what I'm going to do is take my distressed black soot <laughs> and um, I just want to rub it on this top part right here um, and um, I wish I could kind of let it drip down. I should spray it, right? I should spray it. See if I can get it to drip trip down. Yeah. Okay. So, um, oh, and I want more. I want it to drip, y'all. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go make lunch and it'll be all dry. And then I can just kind of finish up and then clean up for the day because I really do need to make masks. So, okay. So that's looking kind of good. This is right. That looks like a nice background. You know what I feel like doing um, before I sort of kind of finish up for the day? So I'm definitely not finished. Um, I feel like I want to draw some like long stemmed kind of poppy ish looking flowers you know just sort of I don't know just I 
and then maybe add a little bit of red, make it pop a little bit more by using more than one kind of color, I guess. I don't know. And then I guess I have to um, draw in some stems, but I think I want the stems I draw to be um, black. I kind of want just a squiggly looking long stem poppy, right? Ooh, I like that. Okay, so that's a nice start. And um, then I've got, oh, I've got, oh, I've got so much more though, because I'm, I'm at the end of the first signature and then I included this as a little extra signature between the two and I found um oh where is it I found a really pretty um I think it's a Christmas card from my aunt signature that I just sort of tucked in here in the middle I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not I'm more likely going to make like a little pocket in the front or the back to like slide it in, but I feel like I kind of want to add um, something to it, um, at least just to make it, I don't know, <laughs> bless you, <laughs> um, at least just to stamp something on it if I haven't stamped anything on it already. Let me see if I can find, I think I want to do some nautical stamps since, you know, I love, you know, I'm a Navy brat, so I want to do a few nautical stamps. These I have to put away in a minute. I should put them away now. So I have a bunch of nautical stamps, and I'm wondering if my, my favorite chipped sapphire color will and I got you know I got ink all over the block but I don't care it's kind of fun to um, like see even like little blobs like that when it my um my uh, my images are not even or my ink distribution is not even I don't really care because it still looks cute. <laughs> so, okay, so I got that, that one. I want to put some, some of this compass. I want, I want all, I want to stamp with all of these. I'll use this. So, of course, I'm going to use, um, well, this isn't a military color, but blue is kind of a, you know, it's an ocean color. And, um, you know, we're on a nautical theme, right? So we'll just... Oh, and it's pretty, too. This is more like a cerulean blue, I guess. I don't remember where I got this ink. It came, like, in a pack of really cheap ink. Probably at, um... You know, probably, like, in the dollar spot at Target or... You know, some... Somewhere like that. I don't remember spending a whole lot of money on these stamps, but they're good. I mean, they're little. They were fun to try. Um, so my Distress Ink. Um, this one's Tumbled Glass. Love Sea Glass. Um, and, um, just, you know, stamp around. <laughs> Just the, the act of smooshing a stamp down, even if, you know, I'm, I'm not really creating anything other than something I may cover up later on. Ooh, that looks like um, two owl eyes, right? <laughs> um, let's see, what other colors can I use? I thought I had... I know I have more ink somewhere. I've got way more ink than what I've been using, but um, I don't know where my... Um, oh, here's my black ink. 
Um, okay, let's use a black to make the the ship, the sailing vessel, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay. So, okay, that's cute. Put them all over, everywhere. <laughs> It's the, um, you know, it's Armada. <laughs> it's an Armada. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, did I do the compass yet? No, I didn't do the compass. So I think I want to try, um, you know, getting this, getting the stamp kind of wet and then, um, Seeing if one of my color sticks will stamp nice. Probably not the first time, but it might. Yeah, see, it's kind of. Ooh, I think I put too much water, but it's working it out. It's working it out. Yeah, I do like it, actually. I do like it. <laughs> such a small, such a small little compass. I need some bigger things. Um. Yeah, see, now it looks better. Now it's looking cool. Um, I'm just gonna put them randomly around in zero order, no order at all. It's just for my own fun of squishing some stamps down. Right, guys? Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do for those little stamps. Um, they're fun. <laughs> That was fun. That was pretty. I think my favorite one was this. The sailboat. Or the ship. I should call it a sailing ship. So it doesn't... It's Oh, it's bigger than a boat. It looks bigger than a boat. Okay. Um, so I found these um, like mermaid stamps. Look how cute they are. I don't know if you can see that. But... See, these are things that I've never used, and I think when you, well, when I do a move into a new journal, I think is such a, a great time to, like, use things that you've never used before, right? Oh, doing that the wrong way. I need her to be kind of, um, I want her to be, like, like, in a curve, like, I guess, kind of. I think it's probably a better idea to do this separately, right? But I don't have the patience for that. I'm like, I'm getting too excited. <laughs> so I'm just going to ink her up and, and um, you know, hope for the best. Okay. Oh, she's cute. Let's put her over here. Man, I sh you know what? I could do like a yin and yang, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool to make it look like she's, um, but I want it to be darker. I want her to be a little bit, let's do, um, that's too, Ooh. is it okay to mix? The colors, I guess it is. I mean, I feel bad now because I'm. I think I committed an ink pad crime, but I'm gonna try to clean it off. Oh, I didn't, but it's okay. It's all right. It was worth it. It was worth the risk. And um, so I'm just gonna. Ooh. Well, I didn't get a good stamp. I have, to try, I have to try again, try to get it perfectly aligned, which I know is a huge risk I'm taking, but I'm really only wanting to get a little bit color on her midsection, so I won't 
push too hard. Yeah, okay, it worked. That did okay. Okay. Oh, I have the cutest thing I can add to this. So, um, I don't know. I know that I don't want to work on this page anymore and I don't want to think about it. So I think really what I'm just going to do is put a, put a paper clip for now right here. Um, cause I found this little image ephemera that's out was actually, it's hanging up above my desk, like above my, I have like a little mirror and, um, I cut this out of a, a, a little golden book encyclopedia, you guys. And, um, and you know, because I'm a Navy brat. So since we've got all these nautical themes, we've got, you know, Navy ships and, um, Navy blimps, <laughs> right? I had to put away all my stamps. I'm trying to, you know, when I'm working on something, if I'm done using them, I try to put it away right away. I'm trying to be more, you know, responsible, I guess. Oh, so I want to, actually, I wanted to, um, since I still had my, um, my color sticks out, I put away my, um, my stamps, and I'm still, you know, if you're still with me, we're still kind of, you know, playing around here. but it does I know this is so um you know kindergarten crayon crayon feeling you know like coloring Ooh. are you coloring with your kids you guys like are you um you know what kind of stuff are you doing um to um keep your kids hands busy and I like that that looks really nice and blended really well with the with the yellow. Ooh, it looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So another white page. I think I'm just gonna glue some stuff now because I I've been coloring so much so I feel like I want to just make maybe make a pocket um pocket with what I don't know a pair <laughs> right but I want this to be not so white so I think I'm just going to you know glue I'm gonna cut paper scraps and like glue it and um That's maybe the best thing to do. Just, I don't know, incorporate something, some of my scraps. I can have a, um, a list, like a um, shopping list, kind of. I'm going to use this. I've been wanting to use this. My little Daphne's diary cut out. I need to get one. I haven't ha I haven't bought one in so long because, you know, they're really pretty and everything, but they're so expensive. You know, for a magazine. I mean, I do use it, but when I think about, you know, the money that I've spent on really cool stuff for like really cheap at estate sales, and then stuff, things I've bought, 
you know, just because they were pretty, like magazines. Um, I ended up, I mean, I know I did. I spent too much. Wasteful. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I think for this, I will, oh, should I use Mod Podge or Gel Matte Medium? I'm going to use Gel Matte Medium. Yeah, it's kind of dried up and stuff, my gel medium, you guys, but um, because I don't like it, I mean, I kind of like it. I don't like how um, opaque it is. Um, like, it may be dried out. Like, I may have abused it, you know, and just left the, the um, you know, my little jar here, my little container here open. But I want to use it up because I do want to buy a new one. I mean, that is an art supply that I will consider essential <laughs> when it runs out. And I will online shop for it. Of course, I won't go to the store to buy it. <laughs> I'm, only going, I'm only going to the store for, you know, to get groceries. That's it, you guys. That's all. Um... It's fine. It's fine like that. Um, what else? Where else? I guess I can use a piece of doily, right? Or, oh, I can use... Oh. To grab something. I want this doily, but it's underneath my tea. And then, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, I keep getting sidetracked, right, you guys? I'm, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. But it's good. It's good for us, you guys to talk and chat and, you know, share what's going on right now. Be in this. <laughs> Get in it. In it for the long haul, you guys. Well, I don't like how this goes well. Maybe I'll bring it in a little further and then gonna try to use as little as I think the reason that I don't like this gel medium is because of how thick it is it's just too thick and then it when it dries it dries very chalky but like I said I think it's because I've abused it and I've um, left it open so it's kind of dried out or at least it's you know and it's old I've had it for a few years so I don't really like it you know, it used to dry, it used to take forever to dry, and, um, that used to drive me insane, but now it, um, it dries really quick, because it's dried out. <laughs> it is dried out, so I'm gonna do something like that, you know, where, and I think for this, I'm, I feel safe enough to use, um, Stick glue. I feel like that's going to give me a tighter glue because this is just for, you know, when I put something in the pocket, it goes in, um, it goes in and out smoothly. If that makes any sense. Just because I feel like this paper is a bit more slippery, you know, so I kind of like a, uh, like a thinner paper, slippery feeling paper non-textured paper, I guess. I guess that's the right way to say it. Um, to put a pocket right there. And um, so there's going to be a pocket here. I should probably go ahead and put it in now, right? Do like that. Do like that. I think that I'm going to... I'm going to staple it. I can always glue it later, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I want a good 
staple pocket. I love stapling my pockets. Okay. Mm. Except I have like, you see I have this teeny tiny stapler. <laughs> that wasn't a very good fold, but it was good enough. It's good enough to make a pocket for now. I can fix it, make it, you know, cuter later. This is adorable and I want to put it there. And so I'm going to glue it there. My pear. This came in, um... A box of pears that I bought last year at Costco. <laughs> so it's, this is really thick, so I have to use, um, I have to, uh, I think I have to bust out the big guns and go with the, um, the clear tacky glue. I feel like this is a stronger, um, hold than, you know, the white glue. But it takes it takes longer to dry, and it's not as flexible, I think, as Aline's, like you know, the white white tacky glue Aline's. So, okay, that looks really nice. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna staple this, or not staple this. I'm going to secure this a little bit. Um. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna, um, think I want to tear this doily. I don't want to, I was going to cut it, I was going to see if I could cut it nice and straight, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear it. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. But see, my gel medium is not good and sticky. Oh. I want it to be more sticky and less chalky. It's just chalky. I don't like the texture of it. If you know of a better gel medium than this one, this one's Liquitex. Which one should I get when I, you know, when that one runs out? Which will be soon because I'm going to use it up. So, okay. Um, I think that's it for now, you guys. I feel like. Um, really all I could do at this point is, um, you know, glue the rest of my scraps, you know, which I, I'm gonna do, but I feel like, um, I don't want to bore you guys by, you know, you having to watch me, you know, glue paper anymore, but, oh, that's pretty, right? Should I do that as a background, or should I, I don't know what I should do with that. Oh, I love it so much. I feel like I just want a little bit of it. Maybe just like a snippet. Maybe just a tag. Maybe I can make a tag with it. Oops. Right? Try to cut as straight as possible, but you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be. So, um, I guess I can just tape it here for the future to know that I want to make it into a tag. Um, you know, that's pretty. Put this in here too. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to tape that too. Or I'm just going to... Where's my other little... Oh, here. Okay, so here's my other little... Little, um... Paper clip. So, paper clip will keep it there. This little piece. Because that's pretty. And, um... Yeah, so I think... I don't know. I think I'm good here. I feel like I've... I've really got a lot done. Um, oh, I feel like I can use this somehow. This looks good here, right? This paper. So I'm gonna I'm gonna staple this paper here because that'll be there for next time when I get in here. So I'll feel like because I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna 
put this aside and I'm going to make a thousand masks, you guys. I'm going to try. My goodness. Um, I like that. Um, I do. I'm going to just leave that in there. It's a little... <clears throat> so we'll work on it later. Um, maybe on camera, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Um... And I don't know why Carl Lagerfeld needs to go in here, but I, he just does. I, you know, I don't know why, but I took this out the other night because, um, you know, when I saw it, I thought that's what I want to happen. I want, you know, I want Carl Lagerfeld to happen in here. I don't even know why, but, um, I should. Okay. So I'm going to do now this. Okay. So I'm just finishing up here. I'm gonna, um, where does my medium go? Does it go here? Oh, it goes in here. Okay, please. Put this here. <clears throat> I'm gonna um so I'm gonna put this here and I think that's gonna be it. I think um everything else is gonna go to the stockpile, right? So, oh, and I, this, this is a little card I got from my aunt, I think for Christmas, when I, yeah, when I was a baby, I guess, um, which I think is pretty, so, and it's Angel, of course, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this somewhere, I don't know where, I'm gonna put this. The way that looks. So I'm just gonna. Where's my. Okay, so. Okay, well, I feel like. I, I feel like I moved in, you guys. I feel like I got a lot done. Is this dry? I feel like I can, um. You know, concentrate now on. You know, cleaning up my desk and, um starting to make masks <laughs> now that we're we're asked to wear masks outside um and i had like my husband and i had you know just like some regular looking masks um that came in a first aid kit um so we can use those i don't i mean i don't think they're surgical grade but um we can use those but we've, I also want to make um, like light cotton masks for walking outside and things like that because I just, you know, everyone is wearing a mask and I, you know, I participate. We have to participate. Wear a mask. This is a um, CVS pharmacy receipt. I'm going to stick it in there. <laughs> when I was, back when I was... Um, you know, getting supplies. I was picking up medic extra medication, you know, for the stay at home order. Um, I picked up some lip gloss too. <laughs> so, um, okay, more paper, more, um, more scraps. I know I keep saying that I'm, I want to end the video, but uh, like, I feel like I see all these scraps and I should put them, you know, in the scrap pile, but I feel like, you know, I should, I should use it up. I should use these scraps up. Because <clears throat> I 
can, you know, I can make little tags with my scraps, or I can even use them in um, some minis, you know, for you guys, maybe. When it's, you know, when we can finally get out and share and um, be outside again and, you know, feel good going to the post office and... <laughs> because right now the post I feel like going to the post office for me right now is not essential um, if I have you know if I have stamps already I can you know go and mail something put it in the box you know but I'm not trying to get in line right now anywhere I'm not trying to go anywhere right now except grocery store and pharmacy that's it <laughs> That is it. Not to be paranoid, just to do my part. Why don't I do some, um, oh, it is April, so let's put April. I think I'm going to put the April here. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. That's really cute. Um, too bad I don't have the numbers 2020 lying around somewhere. I'm sure I do. I'm sure. I thought I, I was um, trying to end the video, you guys. I started looking through my stash of stuff that did not fit. And, like, look at all this cute stuff I found um, for next time. But I do want to put 2020. And another thing I want to tell you guys, I am so proud of myself. Um, because I organized my, um, you know, my stickers, sort of. Well, I organized on a whole, like, this room. Ooh. Um. Oh, I have, like, little words, too. Um. Little words. That's gonna look good on this. I want this journal to be something very positive for me. I want, you know, even if I'm recording something negative, I still want it to be um, positive. So I want, okay, so I've got two, six. Um, should I, so should I put the date up here? Should I put the date down here? I feel like I want to put the date down here, but I want it to be um, on something dark. So think what I should do. Now I may be messing this up, but it, I don't feel like it. Oh, I need to use the same ink that I used for, um, so where's my ink? My brush pen. Okay, so I need to, um, I just need to make it a little bit black, a little blob of black right here. That way my my little numbers will stand out. I bought this in um, San Diego, this brush pen. It's really cool and I I haven't ran out of ink yet, but I think I can refill it. And I do have ink to fill it with. Um, you know, when, when I run out, so it makes me feel really like, you know, like a real artist. <laughs> I have like real supplies. Okay, so 2020. Um, do I have zeros? Oh, I have. It's got one yellow zero. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you've, you know, if you've made a mask, um, are you required to wear one? Um, you know, do you see other people wearing masks? I'm going to make some. I'm just, I just ordered some cotton. Um, because like I said, we really don't have, you know, that many. We have like a few, like I said, first aid kit masks and, um, that's it. And I have a sewing machine, so there is no reason why I should not make my own masks, you know? Um, and you know, my friend here and her family, they don't have any, so I'm gonna make some for them too, you know? Just enough, just enough to get us by, you guys. And, um...
I have, um, I was, this morning I wore a handkerchief, you know, the no-sew method, and it, you know, it worked and everything. It was somewhat comfortable, but because, you know, I, it's, it wasn't sewn, I had to keep fussing with it and touching, with, you know, touching it, which is fine because I was outside walking my dog, so I wasn't in contact with any people. I didn't touch anything, you know, um, wasn't contaminating myself. Um, you know, it was just so weird. It felt funny, and, um... You know, I was smiling and waving at people. You know, well, I was waving at people because I didn't, you know, I didn't want people to not see me smiling. I feel like um, I didn't realize until, like I said, until I am, I'm realizing like I'm, I'm not smiling at people or my smile is not being received, you know? Because I feel like, you know, when you smile at somebody, well, see, I grew up in the South, so I'm used to this, but I feel like, you know, I always smile at people even if I don't say hello just to show my friendliness, you know, like just to be friendly to people. I think that's just a nice and polite thing to do, you know. Um, but I didn't know how much I enjoy smiling at people even if they don't smile back. I didn't realize how much joy it gives me until... I couldn't smile because I've got something in front of my face. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, like, that's just something that I've noticed. And I'm, you know, in, in all this, so I just put, like, some pressed um, leaves and flowers that um, I totally forgot I had. This is in the, um, this is in just, like, the some basic wrapper. And I'm just putting it in here because I want to make, um, you know, something with it. I don't know if I'm going to use this, you know, this, little bag to make something with it but I know I want it in here anyway guys my point is what I'm trying to say is that I don't realize I never realized how much smiling at people makes me happy even if I don't feel like I I realize I'm smiling at people for myself not for other people if that makes any sense you guys know what I mean just the the feeling of smiling at someone, it's a pleasant thing to do, you know, especially if you're like me and you've been brought up that way. But anyway, tell me what you guys think about that or if you guys just think I'm weird. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are being safe. Please um, leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing. Um, let me know how you're feeling and um, let me know what you're working on, you guys. So I will see you guys again really soon. Um, I've got, I think I wanted to do for next video, I think what I want to do is either get back into my shopping bag junk journal or um, make a mini with all the scraps I have. Or I don't know if you want to, if you guys want to like a studio tour or maybe I'll actually, I'll try to show you guys um, also like if I'm successful at mask making. <laughs> this may be a very over, well, this may be an overly ambitious project for me because I don't have a lot of sewing experience, but damn it, I'm gonna do my best, you guys. <laughs> and that's all we can really do right now is do our best and try to stay positive and, um, you know, love our families, love our loved ones, um, think about all the people who are you know isolated or scared or whatever and encourage each other and um just try to spread positivity <laughs> you know i say that because it's like i feel like i'm trying to give people a pep talk but really it's i'm, I'm pep talking myself <laughs> it helps me to remind myself that it's not about me you know it's about everyone on the collective whole and you know just being together and being in this and um you know, getting through this, you guys. We are going to get through this. So I love you guys. I will see you guys again really soon. I hope I didn't dwell too much on, you know, all of it. But it's just, you know, it's going on. What can we do? <laughs> it's all on our minds. But we're going to be okay, right, you guys? Let's decide that we're going to be okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys really soon. Um, love your families. Love your puppies. Take care of yourself and everyone in your household be safe wear a mask <laughs> eat healthy and i'll see you guys in a couple of days <laughs> bye guys